Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Uh, I'm about to install uh, something new for Unity and I thought I'd share the experience with you guys and um, it's called the Unity Hub. Unity Hub and you can get it from just the Unity website, download it and it says download Unity Hub and it's basically an executable file that is going to help you guys make your games in different versions of Unity um, but you can load them up from the same place so you don't basically you don't have to deal with uh, different versions of Unity so let's install this Unity Hub program and um, terms of service read all that make sure you read it install it where um, you're happy with installing that I'm gonna put it on my C drive which is my SSD so it'll be a little bit quicker complete setup run unity hub so it runs unity hub and let's see what happens file will allow access now it says set up unity to begin creating so I need to download and install a new release or locate a previously installed version so I have to locate where my unity is, is installed so where did I install it just let me have a look so just in case you're having trouble locating where you installed Unity, you should scroll down to the bottom left and search for Unity. And then you can right click on that, choose open file location. And it should come up with the shortcut for Unity. And if you right click on that again and choose properties, you should be able to see the install folder for Unity and that's where you installed Unity. So let's just click locate a version and let's go to my D drive, let's go to my Unity. Where is my Unity? Uh, Unity 2018. Alright, so there's my folder. I have to go into my editor. Um, what's going on? Where is my Unity? Unity. Okay, so this is my Unity, and you can see the version here. And then, um, what's going on? Locate a version. Well, I've already done that. Then these are the official releases, so you can see that a new version has come out. So I've got 2018.1.1, whereas there's a 2018.2, so I can just download it. So I can also click on Learn, and these are some tutorials, but I think we already have that. And then there's projects, and these are my projects from Unity. Yeah, I guess it's just an easier way to um, find your old projects. You can see that I've got projects from 2017. It's found them. So, yeah, I'm going to use it to install a new version of Unity. So let's get the latest version from that documentation platforms um, Android build support and Windows build support I'm guessing you can install it all later anyway simplify Chinese so 6.6 .6 gigabytes done and it's it'll install the latest version of unity inside the unity hub so that's pretty useful so once it finishes installing you can see that it now 
appears with the path for where the Unity files are located under C drive, program files, all of that. So I now have this version of Unity and if you click on on my machine there are also now two versions but my oldest version my older version is still set as preferred so you can set the new one as preferred and you can also add new components from um, things that you haven't installed earlier and then if you click on new project uh, when you create a new game you can also choose which Unity version you want to use to create it in. Okay, and also when you go back to your old projects, when you open up a project, you can also choose which version of Unity you want to use to open it up. And it'll just remind you um, what build targets you've installed in that Unity version. So you can see in my latest version, I've only chosen two types of build targets. I can either publish it for Android or Windows and that's it. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.